Hi guys, it's Dave in real life and welcome to this uh, unusual little video and actually a video of what was an uh, idea what was given to me by our very own Irish Rebel. And yeah, you know I'm a bit of a movie fan as much as I love pro wrestling and football. So yeah, today we're going to have a look at my DVD collection and Blu-ray collection. As you can see, there is mountains <laughs> stacked uh, in the distance we are going to go through them as well there is a few more there might be one or two parts to this video uh yeah so <laughs> we're going to see how long this is going to take us to get through some of what you've got to see now uh, and we're going to start with the first pile in front and as you can see it is this speed keanu reeves and sandra bullock absolutely love this film uh it's one of my dad's favorite films as well so I have got a strong affiliation with this one. So there you go, really cool cover. So that is DVD number one. Then we've got this biopic. It's uh, Will Smith as uh, Ali. This is absolutely awesome. If you've not seen this movie, I really highly recommend it for sports fan, Muhammad Ali fans specifically. And of course, if you like Will Smith as well, really cool movie. Then we've got this really cool comedy, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, actually came out, they did the remake of Dawn of the Dead, so yeah, Shaun of the Dead came out when uh, Dawn of the Dead came out, very cool, Simon Pegg there, actually a comedy genius, really, really cool British flick, then we've got one of the Star Trek movies, this is Voyage Home, I have got all of these on uh, DVD, so we will see these throughout the video, uh, yes, but this is Voyage Home, this is the one where they went for whales, in uh, Ingl uh, America, where they came to Hearth, normal time to find whales, make whale noises, something to that effect anyway. Really cool movie. Now, one of my favourite films is this one, Shawshank Redemption, Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. Honestly, if you've not seen this in uh, at all, then I highly recommend it. It is a Stephen King, of basic based off a Stephen King novel. Absolutely awesome movie. Then we've got our Pornasia. This is uh, John Travolta as the bad guy. Uh, yeah, this is based off the Marvel comments of the same name. Uh, it's been various uh, connotations of this over the years. But this is not a bad movie. Um, fun fact, it stars Kevin Nash, WWE. So there is your link to wrestling right there. Uh, here's another, here's The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey. I'm not absolutely a massive fan of this one, to be quite honest with you. But uh, I was going to collect them all, but this is the only one I ended up with. So, <laughs> yeah, there is uh, that uh, video. Talking about Star Trek, we have Insurrection. One of the newer, new, uh, newer Star Trek-y films. Well, it doesn't have the original casting, of course. But yeah, there is Insurrection. And this is a Danny Boyle movie called Millions. This Danny Boyle will also did Train Spot in and some of the other films, what you will see in some of these videos. But yeah, it's really cool. Uh, film, charming and delightful, quirky. This is what they say on the front cover. <laughs> now, this one, Stig Martyr, honestly. Gabriel Byrne, uh, a Patricia Arquette, uh, she becomes like a message from God. It's really, really good. Very uh, scary in places as well. Uh, absolutely an excellent movie. And uh, if you haven't seen this yet again, go out and get it. Sadly, this one is a copy. Uh, I know. Uh, boo. <laughs> Should have copy DVDs. But, oh, God, this film has been out for many, many years. It's the Leader League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Sean Connery. It's not the greatest of movies, I've got to admit. But, yeah, it is uh, kind of in the collection. Uh, not in a rush to actually get the proper version of this either. You can find it on all streaming services anyway. Classic film, Lethal Weapon, yes, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. This, if you like buddy cop movies, this is definitely the one to start with. Uh, absolutely fantastic movie. Uh, highly rated, if you haven't seen it already. Then here is Star Trek. This is The Final Frontier. Uh, not the best of the Star Trek films, if I'm being all honest. This is the one where they went a bit god 
uh, and all that lot. This is actually directed, I think, uh, uh, by William Shatner himself, which didn't really uh, do that well in the box office or, or uh, by the critics. Not the best of the Star Trek movies, but you've got to have them all, I guess. And then there's this one. A Night's Tale, Heath Ledger. Not didn't do that many movies before he died, but this is one of my favourite ones, other than obviously Dark Knight. But yeah, uh, A Knight's Tale. Amazing that the two films that I like Heath Ledger in, I've got Knight uh, pretty much predominant in its title. <laughs> That's a scary coincidence or what. But yeah, we have uh, that movie as well. That's one pile down. Move that out of the way. We're going to have a look at the Blu-rays now. And this is uh, 21 Jump Street. Uh, yep. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. Really cool uh, comedy. Based off this TV series in the 80s, which starred Johnny Depp. Fun fact, he has a cameo in this movie. Uh, Brie Larson's also in this film. Very cool movie. Uh, there's a second one as well. Then we've got this Senna. You know what? Still not watched this film, <laughs> even though it's been highly recommended. Uh, yeah, still need to watch it. Yeah, let me know in the comment section if I if I should just get this watched or not. But yeah, it's amazing. It's see my collection, and I've still not watched it. Film that we have watched. I think we have done a movie watch along on this one as well on the old channel, which is Spider Man Three. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Not the best of the Spider-Man movies, to be fair, but still nice to have in your collection. <laughs> then we've got Ghostbusters Afterlife. Absolutely love this film. Very cool. This is how you do a sequel. Not the female one that we did get uh, only a couple of years prior to this. This is absolutely awesome. And then you can see there's this day puff, little marshmallow man in the corner. This is my last Blu-ray that I actually bought as well. This is Spider-Man no, no Way Home. This is brilliant. Absolutely class. I love this film. Uh, got so much uh, stuff happening in it. Uh, yeah. Quality. Nice one. You even saw me do a toy on, on this uh, exact, getting this exact copy. <laughs> then we've got X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, I actually bought this because I can't, rem I couldn't remember seeing the entire film, and I found it in a pound shop. So yeah, a quid, you can't really not just pick it up. And uh, yeah, it's not the best of the X Men films, unfortunately, but still worth to have in your collection. And then there's this Stephen King's It. I have to move this camera up a little bit. Yeah, there we are. We've got a two set box set. Uh, the first film is absolutely brilliant. Not so keen on Hit 2, if I am being completely honest. But I love the first bit with the children. I mean, does, it's less like the TV show. The first half of it was really, really good. Uh, and then they just ruined it with the adult counterparts in the second film. And I feel that's what they did again with this one. Then uh, we have got this Deadpool Part 1 and Part 2, Deadpool 3 coming soon. Uh, he's there with his uh, unicorn and chummy chonga. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Love Deadpool. How, how can you not love Deadpool? Absolutely one of the best uh, uh, MCU characters there is. But yeah, and amazingly enough, he is part of the MCU now. And then we've got some Star Wars. This is Force Awakens. Uh, this is uh, chose for the dark side. I, I didn't even realise I've gone to the dark side, but here you go. <laughs> this the DVD cover says that I have. But yeah, there is Force Awakens. This one I picked up for my daughter. Well, that's what I'm going to tell you guys. It's Secret Lives of Pets, and I didn't even know which way to hold that one up, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is Secret Life of Pets. I've only got the first one. Picked this up in a charity shop as well. That's really cool. Then we have got Endgame. Fun fact, there's also Infinity War in this box set as well. Uh, I did I have to break the packaging on uh, the other film. But there you go. That is the Endgame. Which is just there. And then we, I went through a phase of just getting all the... Uh, uh, American Pie reunions. Yeah, we are actually doing this from a different angle now because my arm is dying. I'm literally laid on the floor right now. 
uh, what I do for videos. So then we've got the uh, American uh, Pie reunion. And then we've got Dark Knight Rises. Not a fan too much of this film, if I'm being honest. But there we go. Anyway, is it Dark Knight Rises or just Dark Knight? I'm not 100% sure. Let's actually just see on the names in. Gary Oldman and Hathaway. Yeah, definitely Dark Knight Rises because there is uh, Tom Hardy's name. <laughs> then we've got Solo. Star Wars Story. Yep. Uh, a lot of people's can this. It's not the greatest either. I, I do think it's an okay movie. Uh, why do they call him Han Solo? Well, he's Solo. Uh, and that's how he gets his last name. There we go. Spoilers. <laughs> we've got this one as well. Rogue One. Another Star Wars story. This was the first of the separate from the uh, trilogies. Really cool film. Unfortunately, obviously, you know what happens in uh, said movie. But yeah, still good enough to watch. Then we have got Rise of Skywalker. And then, not to spoil it, we have got that one as well. We have got Last Jedi. The worst one of the Star Wars franchise, unfortunately. But yeah, so we've got the new franchise in, in my collection. Which makes no sense now because I've got Disney Plus and it's all on there. And then we've got the first one of the Harry Potter series. Yes, I bought all the Harry Potter films. Uh, I don't mind Harry Potter, to be quite honest with you. I mean, yeah, I do use my daughter's uh, influence as well to watch these films. But yeah, I do love them. Last but not least, for this part one of this DVD Blu-ray collection, uh, we will do another part. And this will be a, a mini series on the channel. Then we'll get back to some wrestling stuff. I promise. But here is Dark Knight and that joke. Heath Ledger, absolutely great performance. Best Joker, in my opinion, by far. But that's it. That is part one of uh, the DVD collection. We've got quite a few, a few there. But look at that. There's still plenty to go. <laughs> I'm going to get more comfortable for the second part. So we will be changing positions. But yeah, look at all this to go. Uh, if you've seen anything that you like in the collection so far, please put in the comment section below. Please slap a like on it and let me know if you can't wait to watch part two. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. Until the next time, bye for now.